So we learned in the book of Deuteronomy that the ultimate outsiders are the eunuchs who are foreigners. They are forbidden in the assembly of the Lord. We also learned that when the people of God disobey, they will experience consequences being attacked and dragged off into exile. And sure enough, that's what happens in the book of Daniel. The Babylonians attack Judah, kill, destroy, steal, take holy things from the temple and put into the Babylonian temple and kidnap the young boys. Young boys who then are forced to serve the king. These are the young boys of the elites, the royal family. Daniel and his friends, who are given new names, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Because when you're conquered, you don't even get to keep your name. Now, these boys are only about 11 years old. They have seen the trauma of war, their houses destroyed, probably their parents killed. And they're in this foreign court with new languages, and they're told that they're supposed to serve the king. And they're going through a, a training program for a couple of years to get them prepared to serve this King Nebuchadnezzar. Enter Ashpenaz. Do you know this wonderful Bible character? Ashpenaz is the chief eunuch overseeing all the eunuchs. And he's given the job to raise these boys and to teach them the ways of the Babylonians. But these boys are heartbroken. And although they're given choice food from the king's table, they're like, we can't eat this. It's too rich. It also was not kosher. So they, so the Ashpenaz is like, I, I got to feed you. I'm going to get in trouble if you don't eat. Uh, what can I feed you? And they say, just give us some vegetables. He says, no, you're going to get sick. Try it for 10 days. So he puts them on a vegetarian diet for 10 days. In a way, he gives them comfort food food that was accustomed to them, not this rich food from the Babylonians. And, and something amazing happens because Ashpenaz, who is this foreigner himself, who probably experienced some of the same trauma as these young boys, becomes a mother and a father to these children. He raises them, prepares them for royal service, of course, but also becomes their protector their guide, and the one who will give them the food that they long for when they need it. So here we have a eunuch who is acting in this beautiful role of helper, provider, parent.